Um, not, not stunningly different than the one before, largest number being north. Um, so something I could have added, let me, let me just do this first. Uh, take, R, take negative R initial. R initial was, was down and to the right, so negative R initial is up and to the left. So if I take negative R initial and add it to R final, I end up with a delta R That's, that points basically north, directly north. Now, something I could have said last time, but it, it, it might make more sense to say it now. You will always find out when you subtract vectors like this that the velocity vector as is always going to be tangent to the path. It is along the path. And the word tangent tells you exactly what that means. It's along the path. Tangent to the path is something that is along the direction of the path. You're over here on the right. Car is currently traveling north. If you're up here at the top, the car has turned toward the west. In between going north, and going west, it traveled all the directions in between as it came around this curve. At some point about halfway, it was headed northwest. By the time it gets right here, it's going to the left, and that would be to the west. If you're going around this circle and the sun is setting, then you are looking to the west when you're up at the top there and the sun is right in your eyes. And when you're down at the bottom, uh, and you look in the rearview mirror, the sun is behind you because you are headed east. If you're on the right, you're going north. On the left, after you've gone all halfway around the circle, you're headed south. Any questions about what's going on there? Velocity vector is tangent to the path all the time because it's in the direction of delta r, and delta r is along, the change in your position vector is always along whatever path you are walking or, any, or something is moving. All right, so now we're going to get trickier. Now we have two velocity vectors at, at those, the same car at those two times had velocity vectors that are tangent to the path. The velocity vector right here is tangent to the circle right there, so it's upward and to the right. A little bit later, the velocity vector is tangent to the circle right there, so it's upward and to the left. The first one, V initial, is north and to the east. V final is north and to the west. That's why halfway in between, we had V just north. But if you're a little bit before there, or a little bit after, then V is north and to the east, and then north and to the west. So what's the direction of delta V? However you want to work it out. Although one straightforward way is V final, add negative V initial. 